Hello guys, this is Monkey, and before I start this tutorial, I'd just like to say no, I'm not dead, I'm not leaving or anything like that, I am back, and I'm going to be uploading regular tutorials again, and basically that's it, um, if you want to request a tutorial, make sure you comment below, and I will get to it, or alternatively, you can send me a message. Now today, um, I did get a few questions on one of my on my in-depth background tutorial on this grid effect how people were getting like a solid color and it was going a bit wrong and things like that so I thought well I don't want people to you know mess it up or anything so I thought well if you want to use it then I'm gonna tell you how to do it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of it well I'm just gonna delete this gradient and so obviously you'll have this uh, what you want to do then just create a new layer put it underneath that and go down here this little black and white circle go up to gradient select the colors I'm having um, not that don't worry <laughs> red and black um, with a the best thing you don't want to do it like this you want to do it radial hold shift and move it up a bit then maybe no that scales alright so click OK and now you want to create a new document so file new make it 20 by 20 with a transparent background now you'll see this happens now if you if you're on a um, computer and not a laptop you can press control alt and use your scroll wheel and scroll in if not you'll have to click that and fit screen whatever it's up to you now what you want to do is get this the rectangular marquee tool select the whole document fill it in black if I can just get my and then with your arrow keys press up and left and switch the colour to white and fill it in white control D to deselect and then go to edit define pattern and just call it pattern 3 or whatever I'm not going to because I've already got it and I just fill up more memory then go double click on your gradient fill go to pattern overlay then select your um, um, grid <laughs> mind block and then put the the um, blending mode to overlay or soft light personally I prefer overlay but that's just me and bring the opacity down you don't want it to um, I don't know really too overwhelming you want to bring it down to maybe 23 looks pretty good and now you can see that you get this grid effect now um, for example if you you could change it to that be that the black bit there be white and that bit there be black um, but I don't think it looks as good but it's all up to you it's what you want to um, it's what you want to give, give your customer or give yourself so yeah, um, I just thought I'd bring this out just to address a few questions that I've been getting. And also, I have got a blue snowball mic now, so you might notice the audio quality is a bit better. Well, it's a lot better, I hope, because it cost me a bit, so yeah. If you enjoyed the tutorial, um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And um, let's just comment below what you want to see. I mean, just whatever you want, just comment. Um, if you want to know how to, I don't know, anything, whatever you want, I will do. I, I like to please my subscribers. So if it's something that I'm not really that um, well well educated on, then I'll probably look it up. So I like to bring what you want. So make sure you do comment what you want to see because that's, that's the only way I know what you do want to see. So yeah, it can be as broad as editing tutorials or it can be as broad as cinema 4d tutorials or photoshop tutorials or it can be more like 
specified like this, like grid tutorial. It's up to you. So please, I do ask of you if you comment and like and favourite. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back pretty soon. Peace.